Hello friends and welcome back to the channel. Today, now, these are the various cases you are going to experience when dealing with other block or any POI. First of all, is you can see this first case, a trader took first trade on other block, but price used second other block. All right, so let's assume you put you place this trade somewhere here, a pending order, and then price trade lower and then took you out and then continue with the second other block. All right, and this is a second case whereby you place a pending order somewhere here. And then price didn't even get to the other block, all right? Instead, price used the first other block or first POI and then keep pushing to the upside. Red trader took second other block or price form a reversal. There's a way we can avoid this reversal instead of you to just take the loss or less extremely. So there's a way for us to know if price is going to use a particular point of interest or a particular other block. So that's what I'm going to show you guys in this video. All right, so I want you guys to look at the chart right now. You agree with me that at every turning point in this market, every turning point, there is an other block. This is the other block or anyone you can pick anyone here as the other block before this turning point this is the bearish other block before this turning point this is the bullish other block this is the bullish other block before this turning point so at every turning point there has to be an other block now you guys agree with me that before an other block is formed in the market for example let's use this one as an example before an other block is formed so there were other lower time frame price action that took place right here so we are going to look at that embedded lower time frame price action and pick at the other block to show us that okay this level price is going to use this level as our turning point to keep pushing to the up downside or to keep pushing to the upside so so the way this thing is done is whenever you see an other block let's assume there's an other block somewhere right here on a particular time frame it could be daily right now i'm on daily time frame now once you identify an other block first of all the, you, the first thing you need to do is before price get to that other block or before price get to any of the POI you want to use you have to mark it out to the right hand side then go to lower time frame a time frame that is lower than that time frame for example from daily you can switch to four hour or from four hour you can switch to one hour or from one hour you can switch to 30 minutes all right so the lower the time frame the faster you're going to get this embedded other block so let's assume this was your poi okay look like this bullish scenario let's assume this was a poi somewhere around here or this was the other block you are referencing then at this point whereby at this point whereby price have gotten to your poi or your other block that you referenced then the only thing you need to do is go to a lower time frame lower than this let's say four hour time frame then at this zone at this zone right here what you just need is an order block to form on four hour time frame, meaning a candle to close above the previous candle. Now, when this thing form on this time frame, you can use this as your and as your confirmation to that okay, this level is going to hold for price to push to the upside. So this is another example. Let's assume this was four hour time frame. This was four hour time frame. Then so this could be one hour time frame. So I look for the other block as price just close above the other block. Then I know right. This level is going to hold so this will help me to identify solid level that price is going to use instead of me to just blindly be placing pending orders on every level that i see in the market let's just quickly take a look at some examples and see how this thing is very much reliable and how it's going to help you guys now i remember i told you guys the first thing you need to do is identify the impulse swing of the range for example this is the impulse swing okay then you, the next thing to do is mark out all the PDRAs, all the other block you want to reference. This could be favor lookup, all right? This thing can also apply to favor lookup. Now, the first thing I need to do is mark out all the other block. All of remember that at this point, you don't know that this is the other block price going to use. You just have to mark all of them, right? So, what I need to do is at, so as price is approaching to the first point of interest, my first other block, I need to switch to one hour time frame at this level. Remember, I said one time frame lower than it, okay? So the time frame lower than this is one hour time frame. So I need to switch to one hour time frame, place my vertical line somewhere here. Let's go to 29th of September. All right, so. Okay, so right here on one hour time frame, I've got up, this is my point of interest on four hour time frame. There you can see that as price is approaching, 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 approaching. You can see the fake, fake signals that price was giving us. You can see this price drop to the downside, like it wants to start selling, but that wasn't it because it didn't happen on the point of interest. All right. So you can see, see this one, like you want to start selling, but it didn't, it didn't start selling because that wasn't the point of interest. So you can see price came to the point of interest and then look at that nice entry signal right here. So look at that nice entry signal right here. Price came up all the way up. And then we had this other block that just took place. Okay, you can just mark it out. This bearish other block that just took place. Okay. 
Are you seeing it? And the price has to come retest it. And then taking this entry will be one of the best entry you have taken in your trading career. All right, so look at it. You can see the way this thing is being done, guys. It is very, very much highly reliable. Now, at this point, you don't need to wait for price to come to the second point of interest because price has given you what you need at the first point of interest. So you just have to engage and then manage your risk and then manage your trade. You see that? You see how sweet this thing is, guys? Let's take a look at one other example, guys. So let's take a look at another example, guys. The first thing you need to do is always mark your higher time frame point of interest. And then this, this is my four hour point of interest. This is a 29th. Uh, Wednesday, 20th of September. So at this is four hour time frame. I need to go back to one hour time frame at this point so that we can look for our, our entry. So this thing without these entry signals, you shouldn't be engaging your entry so that you won't be caught at the wrong side of the market. Right? Are you seeing that spot? Minute the other block is formed, you engage on the trade. You don't even need to wait for a retest. This is when the other block is formed. This is when the other so you can engage immediately without even waiting for the for the retest. So this things are close every day, guys. So you don't necessarily have to wait for price to retest it. Maybe the price close, uh, you made the price go below the other block. You can just take the trade. And for those of you guys that doesn't know how to frame your daily buyers on the, on the market, I'm going to link a video to this particular one or drop the link or the description to know how to frame your daily buyer because it's very important as a trader. You know how to frame your daily buyers. And those of you that are new to this channel, please make sure you subscribe to this channel and turn on your notification button because every Every, every week we'll be uploading quality information for you guys to learn and to upgrade in your trading career. So thank you for watching this video, guys.